What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger vs Mighty Morphin Scorpina. And so here we have the Yellow Ranger and Scorpina pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through their accessories really fast. We'll have a look at Yellow Ranger's accessories first. The Yellow Ranger does come with a few accessories. We do get two different head sculpts. We do get the helmeted head, which is the same that we saw in the original figure. And then we do get an unmasked Aisha head, which is really nice. I do like that. She also does come with a pair of grip hands. We get a style pose left hand, and then we get a style pose right hand. She also does come with two versions of the Blade Blaster. We do get the Blade Blaster in its extended blade form. And then we also get the Blade Blaster in its blaster form, and both of those do fit in the side holster nicely. She of course does come with the power daggers, which look really nice, I do like the way they fit in her hands. And then those do come with some sparking effects, so those look really nice, I do like what she comes with. So, moving over to Scorpina, Scorpina also does come with a few accessories. We do get two, a pair of grip hands, which looks really nice on her. We get a style pose left hand, and then we get a fist right hand. Scorpina also does come with her boomerang weapon which looks really nice. I do like it. And then she does come with a sparking effect for her weapon and those look really nice. So overall they come with quite a good batch of accessories. I do like what they come with. Even though Yellow Ranger is something we've seen before, Scorpina is brand new. I still like the way the figures look and their accessories look really nice. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually move on to their details. Having a look at the Yellow Ranger first. And so here we have a closer look at the Yellow Ranger. And we're having a look at the Yellow Ranger first because it's more or less the same as the original figure. There are some slight differences that I do need to point out on this figure, but for the most part, it's the exact same sculpt, exact same mold. Besides some paint apps and the difference in plastics, we got the Yellow Ranger again, which I know the Yellow Ranger isn't everybody's favorite Ranger, but I really do like the design of the Yellow Ranger. I, of course, love the helmet. It looks really nice. We do have the saber tooth uh, teeth coming down on the visor. We have the nose right here and then the eyes on the saber tooth tiger. And then, of course, we do have the mouthpiece right there. So overall, it's a really nice head sculpt, although one thing that is missing from all the Power Rangers is the clips on the helmets, which I'm perfectly okay with them not having it because it's not that big a deal for me. So yeah, I really do like it now. One thing I didn't notice about this version of the Yellow Ranger versus this one is how much nicer the yellow and the white look together. On this original figure, you can see it's very pale on mine, and I don't know if that was the case with all of them, but yeah, you can obviously see that the newer one has better paint apps, and I really do like the fact that we got an updated paint apps, because I think that was one of my major complaints about the original Yellow Ranger, is that the white seemed very light. This one is a n much nicer uh, shade of white. It's brighter. And one thing to note about the costume itself, the new one is almost a paler yellow where this one has a little more orange. This one looks like it has a little more blue in it. So that's pretty much why this one looks like it's a more saturated yellow where this one is a duller, paler yellow. And that can even be seen on the forearms right here. You can see the diamonds are actually like a mustard color on this new one, which I'm not a fan of that mustard color. I much would have preferred this color because that looks a lot nicer. So yeah, that's something to note on the differences on the figure. And one other thing to note is the difference on the Morpher. For some reason, this new one has better detailing than the old one. You can see this one has a more defined saber tooth tiger on it. You can see some silver stripes right here in the Morpher where this one was lacking. So they did a lot of new things with this and went back and retooled some things. I kind of wish that they stuck with this shade of yellow but with the detailing they put on this one because it looks so nice. And then we go on to the boots, which again, not the best shade and it does appear like on camera because this is, a, I can't see this in person, but it does look like the boots aren't painted that nicely. Hmm. It's showing up on camera like this, some streaks of yellow, but I don't honestly see those in person. So it might just be my eyes playing tricks on me, but 
No, that uh, that looks like streaks of yellow, but I don't see them in person. The only one I see is that the diamond right here is a little bit smudged. Is that the same? Yeah, it's it's obvious that there's something going on with the way it's painted. Because it's not on every part of the diamond, is it? Uh, let's see this leg. On uh, the right leg. No, the right leg looks so much better than the left leg, but I don't see that in person. That's really strange that it looks like this leg has some yellow bleed to it throughout the this portion of the boot, but in person, I don't see it. It might just be my harsh lights playing tricks on me, but I don't know. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say, but overall, more or less the same thing we got with the original Yellow Ranger, so overall I'm happy with it. We do have another Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. At least we got the Aisha head, which makes this so much better, in my honest opinion. The fact that they gave us a new Ranger for Season 2, that's so nice. I do like that. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to Scorpina. And so here we have a closer look at Scorpina and I really like what Hasbro did here. There's a lot of new parts for Scorpina but at the same time there's a lot of reuse on her which they actually hit the reuse very very nicely. I do like it. So for starters let's actually have a look at her head. It's a very gorgeous head sculpt. I love this face. It's a very beautiful face and it catches the look of the actress very nicely. I do like that. You can see that they did add some finer detailing right here on her helmet, that red marking. And then we have like the eye right here, the scorpion stinger right there. Moving on to the back of her helmet, you can see the helmet does come down, so I do like that. And I don't know, but the helmet might be a separate piece from the hair. I can't really tell, but it could be all one solid piece of plastic, so that is a little bit unfortunate because that means the hair isn't as pliable as you would want it to be. You can see it doesn't really flex, which automatically means that's going to limit articulation, so do be aware of that. So overall, Scorpina looks really nice, especially here in the face. Now she does have a unique torso that we haven't seen before, which I would expect because this is the first time we're seeing Scorpina. You can see she does have her choker painted on really nicely and I do like the fact that it is sculpted on. We do have all this nice texturing throughout her costume which that's really good. We have some silver right here for her armor. The gold is that same uh, pale gold that we saw with Goldar which I'm a little bummed out that they didn't actually paint it like this bronze gold. I think that would look so much better than this because you lose a lot of the detailing when it's just done in this flat gold plastic. It has a lot of detailing especially right here on her arm that you really don't get that when you look at it with a flat plastic and that's uh, Hasbro paint, paint the gold parts please for the love of all things Power Ranger paint the gold parts for us. So having a look at this arm it's actually a new retool because I'm pretty sure this is the same arm that we saw with I believe Rita but this one has an armband on it so this was retooled to have the armband and then she does use the same form that we saw with Rita the one that kind of looks like Popeye the Sailor Man because it's a little bit big for the arm like it doesn't look like it goes with the arm so yeah that is a little bit unfortunate but she does have this cuff right here which kind of does hide that effect but it's still kind of noticeable that her arm is thinner at the upper arm and then when we get to the forearm it's like pop of the sailor's band. So we do have her ungloved arm right here. On this side we have all her armor which she does have a pauldron right here which looks really nice. I like the detailing on it but again because it's done in that dull gold plastic you lose a lot of that detail and especially right here on her bicep armor. All that detail is just lost because of it's done in this uh, kind of translucent swirly twirly plastic so yeah even though it's nicely sculpted it doesn't have too much detailing that you can see normally because it's just dull. Hasbro really needs to paint those gold parts gold rather than just leaving them that but I do like the fact that it does have the spike right here and then we have the blue gem. 
really liking the unique torso that she has going on her. Right here we see more of her armor going all the way around to her back, which we see some studs right here looking really good, really impressive. So for the most part her legs are just your generic female ranger legs, especially from this hip down we have a generic ranger leg. This one they actually sculpted an upper hip part for it but they didn't sculpt anything else for it they just gave us a generic ranger leg after the hip so it is a little bit strange that we got a new hip piece but nothing here i guess they thought that the armor would cover everything up and surprise it honestly doesn't it's really obvious when you turn her to the side her armor is still in that terrible plastic which it does look nice for a toy but these are aimed at adult collectors, so yeah, that that really doesn't look too nice. I do like the, her boots, though. They're done very nicely, and the sculpt is all solid. We do have that blue gem continuing the motif from her bracer right here, and then her armor right there. There's a lot of nice detail on Scorpina, but again, Hasbro just dropped the ball by making it this swirly-twirly, um, marbleized gold plastic, which... I'm okay with I might end up going back and changing that with some copper or maybe even some gold. We'll see. But overall, Scorpina here feels really impressive. I do like the way she came out, so really liking this figure. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get Scorpina and the Yellow Ranger pose so we can get them compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have the Yellow Ranger and Scorpina pose next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the Yellow Ranger and Scorpina pose next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have the Yellow Ranger and Scorpina pose next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to their articulation and we'll have a look at Scorpina's articulation. They're pretty much the same thing, but we'll have a look at Scorpina because we've seen a look at Yellow Ranger. Essentially, we get the same articulation with the exception of the wrist and the head. Of course, Scorpina is on a hinged ball joint, which can look down about that far. If it wasn't for the stiff plastic, she'd be able to look up a little bit better and she can turn her head left and right. But again, because this is so stiff, you really don't get too much play out of it. And very minuscule head tilts, virtually none. Her arms are on butterfly joints so they do pivot forward and back really nicely. I do like that. Her arms do go all the way around and something I do like is that they implemented that same armor design that they have on the Stormtroopers where her arm pretty much sandwiches the rubber joint so her arm is free to move out on its own. You can rotate it independently or you can rotate it with the armor so I do like that. We don't get a bicep swivel with Scorpina and the Yellow Ranger, but we do have a lower forearm swivel with a hinge right here. And it gives you pretty decent range, I'm not going to lie. For the right wrist, we do have a swivel and horizontal hinge. For her right wrist, I think I did that in the wrong order, but her right wrist does have up and down hinge for weapon wielding poses. We do have a very nice ball joint here which works really nice. I do like the way that moves. We have a hinge in the lower torso leaning back and forward about that far. Our swivel is done at the upper torso. We don't get any swivel here at the waist but her legs do kick forward to about there. Kick back out to the side. Very impressive. I do like that. Swivel up at the thigh. Double bend at the knee going very far back. I do like that. We do have a swivel here at the boot, hinge in the ankle going back to about that far. Going forward, not the best on Scorpina here unfortunately, but it does work. And of course, forward facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, really do like the articulation on the Lightning Collection figures. They're done exceptionally well, especially for Hasbro standards. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get these girls posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. 
And so here we have the Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphin, Yellow Ranger, and Scorpina Pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I really do like this set. I am happy that Hasbro was able to give us another villain for the Mighty Morphin display. Scorpina, of course, does come out regularly. She is Goldar's brother, at least in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm not sure what her backstory is in Super Sentai, but I really do like the fact that we did get a Scorpina. I am a little bit upset that we got another Yellow Ranger. Uh, Hasbro has this tendency to give us a figure we really want with a figure we probably already have in the Yellow Ranger in this set which I'm perfectly okay having another Yellow Ranger seeing as how the uh, season 2 Yellow Ranger was Aisha instead of Trini. It is good that we are getting the second season Rangers. I just kind of wish that Hasbro did it in a way that we didn't have to buy a villain and a Ranger. I was going to buy an Aisha anyway if they released it so I really shouldn't be complaining about that. I do like the fact that we do get the option to have the Season 1 Rangers and the Season 2 Rangers, and then it never hurts having a villain on your shelf. The villain should always outnumber the heroes, at least in my honest opinion. Now, this set is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video, which will run you about $40 or $42 depending on your area. I actually picked mine up on Amazon where I did get it for a little cheaper than retail. I actually paid about $35 for it. Uh, they did reimburse me because there was a lower price value that they did find and I am really happy paying it for that price and when you do get down to the logistics of it $20 a figure, $40 that's pretty fair especially for a two pack and I do feel like they come with just the right amount of accessories to make it worth your while Overall, I really do recommend this set. If you're a fan of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you're really going to need a Scorpina in your collection. And even though you have a Yellow Ranger in your collection, it is nice that we do get a Season 2 Ranger, which is really nice seeing as how the only way to get the Season 2 Rangers as of right now is to get them exclusively on Hasbro Pulse. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other lightning collection videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.